What's up, everyone? So last we uh, kind of checked in, I was getting ready for Summer Jam. Summer Jam was successful, super awesome run. Um, I don't really have any clips of it because I'm really bad about doing that. But uh, we did find some weak points of the car. Nothing broke, but I definitely got over 250 degrees a couple of times. Uh, actually, one lap, I stopped to cool it down and Cameron Moore was behind me and gave me the sign to tandem and I can't turn down an FD driver. So I went and what did we get to? Like 260 or something like that? Probably around that, yeah. Yeah, it, it was really hot. Like the water was actually boiling out of the uh, radiator and out of the thermostat housing. Like it was pretty atrocious. So we are attempting to fix that. Well, actually, Stephanie is fixing my front fender because we're getting ready to do Bash the Future 6, which actually starts tomorrow because it's a three-day thing this year. So, of course, we're doing everything last minute-ish. And uh, the car runs and drives. It's just doing little things like this right here was leaking. So this housing is actually pressed in and it's not welded. When it would get hot, this would distort a little bit and water would just start steaming out all around here. Um, so you remember the JB weld that I put on there? Well, I put there the spot that I fixed. I don't even know if you can see it anymore. Probably not. That spot uh, has yet to leak yet. So JB Weld works awesome if you know what the heck you are doing. If you don't, that's your own fault basically. But anyway, so I JB welded that and then this is a fan off of uh, RZR, I think. A Polaris RZR. I was looking for a Taurus fan. I couldn't find one. I ended up finding one, but um, they just never took it off the vehicle for me. It, I don't know. It was a big ordeal. Not worth it. Anyway, my buddy had this one, and he said I could have it for free. He has a couple of them. I hooked it up, and it's something like 1600 CFM. It's a ridiculous fan. Uh, blew my shirt up when I plugged it in, so it's freaking good, I think. And uh, hopefully that keeps it cool enough to run. The other thing I decided to do, I put the FC cooler back in, the oil cooler. Um, I kind of had to do the ghetto thing with the oil filter <laughs> to get that done. What's so funny? Ghetto. <laughs> Your way of doing things. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind her. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, I actually used to have this set up before and the tabs broke off when I got in a wreck. I believe when I bashed and broke this bumper or uh, push bar. Uh, it broke the tabs off, and then I was like, screw it, uh, it's not that big a deal, and I just put the factory-style oil filter setup back on it. And um, one thing that starts to happen at like 220 and up is oil pressure at idle just goes to zero, and the lifters actually start to tick. As soon as you bring it up off of idle, it goes back to like 20 to 30 PSI, and it's fine. But I want to try to keep everything nice and cool, this thing is monstrous, uh, so it should keep everything cool. should bring my oil pressure up just a tiny bit. Also, obviously, it'll help with cooling. And um, I run like 1030 in the engine, and it still doesn't seem to like the heat, which, I mean, 250 degrees is really freaking hot, but it is a cast iron Ford, so they're pretty good at like, not blowing head gaskets so far. Uh, yeah, so that's basically what we're doing. We're trying to get the fan in tonight. I got to figure out radiator hose situation because I don't have the right radiator hoses because I moved where the radiator sits and how it sits to try to get more air going through it instead of having it tilted and a bunch of other crap. So I got to wire it, put it in. Um, I'm probably going to have Stephanie weld this up because... She knows how to weld-ish, so she's going to really learn how to weld tonight, I think. Yeah? Woohoo! The face of enthusiasm right there. <laughs> anyway, it's looking pretty good. Um, so yeah, we got a bumper to put on to, or front and rear bumper. 
Um, I got some like super sweet camouflage seat belts to put in on her side, some harnesses. Uh, we probably will do that actually down in Medford, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I don't know. What else do we have to do? I don't know. Oh, tires. Whole lots, bunch lots of tires. tires. Yeah. And also super sweet, the 6.7 here, we get to drive that down this year instead of my 7.3. And my work paid for it. Not because I'm sponsored, which would be totally awesome. <laughs> and if you want to sponsor me, I'm not going to stop you. But uh, it has reported, supposedly it has some problems. I haven't found a problem with it. I've driven it almost or just over a thousand miles. Yeah, just over a thousand miles. And uh, went to give it back today, and they said just take it for the weekend. So they filled it up with diesel, handed me back the keys, and we're going to go with satellite radio, air conditioning, and all the fancy things. Free fuel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we like free fuel. I mean, I run ATF in my 7.3 instead of diesel with a little bit of diesel. So that's semi-free, but... The 6.7 is free free, and we like free free. Careful, babe, that fiberglass is. Is fucking prime condition, I know. Yeah, like. I don't want to mess that up. Watch your profanity. We'll get kicked off of YouTube if you keep oh, talking like that. Shizzle nuts. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shizzle nuts? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Hey guys, guess what our new pet name's gonna be? <laughs> yeah. Love you, Shizzle Nuts. <laughs> One other cool thing I wanted to mention is I never throw any metal out, like at all. Doesn't matter what it is. Um, I've like have CD racks. If any of you kids know what CDs are, they're like this little metal disc you used to listen to music on. It's kind of like a DVD, but it had music on it. Uh, anyway. I had like metal pieces from that I've saved, um, just pieces of lawnmower and stuff. Just because it's metal, I can weld it and it's free, right? So I built this bar right here like three years ago on the first V8 swap to hold the upper radiator like in place and then came up with a different way to mount it, kind of threw it in the corner and left it. Well, the other day I was trying to figure out how I'm going to mount it and that piece fits perfectly in that spot. So don't let your wife tell you to throw your scrap away <laughs> because it might come in handy someday. Finally videotaping you with your clothes on. Ooh. <laughs> Doesn't sound sexy at all. <laughs> Anyways, so on the same line of I don't throw anything away. Bed frame, bed frame and radiator that doesn't have anything holding it in, right? 27 inches from there to there. 27 inches from there to there. This is why you don't throw anything away. So, yes, I realize how ghetto that sounds, but this is a perfect arch to run across here and then back down. And then I can weld some bolts here but it just goes through, on with a nut, boom, done, weld in the bar there, and it will be perfect. So it sounds ghetto, as uh, Nuts over here told you. <laughs> here. Uh, but it will work, and really you're talking about something that holds in the radiator. This doesn't have to be made out of freaking carbon fiber, super awesome something or other. It can be just cheap steel. It's just got to hold the radiator in. Hoses help keep the radiator centered um, for a lot of people who just like zip tie it in and don't have a problem. So actually having something metal with bolts in it that's welded in and sturdy is great. Plus, I mean, it's a bed frame and people have sex on these all the time and it doesn't break. So should hold a radiator in. Good point. Thank you. Okay. So safety first. And because I can't find any of my glasses so i'm just going to make a rough cut first just this big chunk take this out and then i'll cut it down what i actually want but it's kind of hard to do all this when it's still together so 
luckily we got a bunch of spare tires we got to do earlier, which makes the perfect table. Now for the moment of truth. Oh, that's awesome. Obviously, we'll cut all this stuff out. I might actually leave this in. I don't know. I might cut that out too. But um, yeah, it is the perfect width. Just clean this up down here really quick. Cut off the excess. Weld this in. And then I'll come in here. Grind off probably three spots, maybe just two because this is actually broken, and just put some. Oh, where are they? Just like a regular fender bolt in here, just weld it in because it's kind of the perfect gap right here. Put a nut on the other side, bam, done. And we have ourselves a mount for a radiator that will be perfect. So, I don't know, I guess find a sharpie and start marking stuff. And then just clean it up. Um, we might have to do it some kind of bigger welds because it is actually just a tiny bit smaller. But nothing I can't fill. That's what she said. How's it look? Beautiful. Perfect. So now that we got like the rough outline of this, we put it in, cleaned it up. Does it still look good? Yep, looks good. All right, so now we'll put the radiator in, figure out the height, and then we'll probably cut off the excess here on the bottom of this so it'll fit perfect. Good? Looks solid to me. So Stephanie laid some tacks down for me, but I'm going to fill it up because she's still learning how to weld and I've done it a little bit longer than her. So fill that side up, fill that side up, 
and then put our screws in and we're good to go. I set the welder up for slightly thicker steel than what we had. Uh, kind of burned through on that side and had to fill it back up. This side doesn't look too bad. So but you can see that really big gap right there. I'm not even going to bother to try to fill that up. I'm just going to leave this here. This is super solid. It's not going anywhere. Um, maybe we'll put some welds on the back side and see how sturdy it is then. After looking at the welds, they look fine. This is pretty freaking sturdy. This is not going anywhere. So now we will put some screws right here, or bolts right here and here, drill our holes through the radiator, mount it, and finally be done mounting the radiator. And <coughs> we'll probably call it a night with that for the video because we've got so much other stuff to do that's just gonna be little stuff like doing tires and crap nobody's really going to want to watch that. So we'll mount this up and then uh, hopefully be done. After about 30 seconds of figuring out that this wasn't going to work, we decided this was way freaking easier. Uh, just an L bracket bolted. With the, there was already holes in here, so we just put the bolt through. Boom, done. I'll put some of the garage... Uh, what is that styrofoam stuff in here to stop it from rattling so much but hose is on i got to put clamps here there there and then do a bottom one but other than that the radiator's done um mounting up the fan i already have all the relays and stuff like that so that's not really an issue <coughs> and put coolant in it it's good to go okay now that it's all pretty much done i think we're going to call it a night and get started early in the morning and try to finish up the other little projects um, we're not leaving till like one or two, <laughs> so that's not really a problem. Plus more parts stores are open in case I need anything. Uh, so it'll just work better to get some sleep and get back on it. But with that being said, I think we're done. I think we're done. She Yay. thinks we're done. And we're almost Bash of the Future 6 ready, which will be our fourth year there. And it's our anniversary drift event. Me and something nuts. Man, I forgot what that was already. I forgot too. We'll I, have to uh, look whatever. Back. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not like we won't look back through the video. Anyways, this turned out pretty good. I mean, for a bed frame, this is actually a lot thicker than I thought it was and harder to manipulate. So I like it. Um, yeah, it's kind of ghetto, but it is what it is. It works. And uh, it was cheap as in free. So I don't have a problem with that. Do you have a problem with that? Never. Yeah, well, free <laughs> is a good price. Oh, we do have to fix this though. I have the bar for it. We'll probably just weld it back on and uh, hopefully not hit anybody with this side to test my weld. But if it happens, it happens. Oh, well. So you got anything you want to say? Nope. Me neither. Come find us at Bash the Future. Come say hi. Um, I'm going to be out on the track as much as possible because I don't like to just sit around in the pit area and act cool. I like to act cool <laughs> on the track. What are you laughing about? Hot boy stuff. 
Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm not a hot boy. I don't I I don't subscribe to that. So I just want to go out there and have fun. Anyways, we're gonna wrap it up here. Call it a night. Get some sleep and come back in the morning. Hit this hard and try to make it look semi decent. See you guys later. <laughs>